Welcome back. The economy appears to be returning to its trend growth of 7.5% uh, and inflation, of course, uh, is back at 7% uh, plus. So what should the RBI concentrate on? Should it start worrying about inflation or should it worry that growth is still not self-sustaining? To answer those questions, I have with me Mr. R. Seshasai, the Managing Director of Ashok Leyland, the Chairman and Managing Director of Bank of Baroda, Mr. M. D. Malya, and Chetan Ahia, the Managing Director and Chief Economist of Morgan Stanley Asia. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Mr. Seshasai, let me begin with you since you have your finger on the pulse of the economy in a sense. How good is growth? Do you think it has reached a level where a bit of a hike in interest rates, a slightly costlier uh, money will not matter and growth can become self-sustaining for the economy? Well, I must uh, give a qualified reply to that. Uh, I certainly think that the growth is no more fickle. Uh, it certainly, the momentum is certainly quite sound and it can uh, carry on. Uh, I don't believe that therefore there is a great threat of uh, demand falling off mm. uh, despite the fact that we see some uh, flagging of the consumer confidence in the last month but by and large I think the demand is uh, pretty much intact. The only issue is that we are just at the cusp of an investment cycle in the private uh, in, uh, industry and that's happening because uh, capacity is getting filled up now uh, with the demand rising in the last few months and uh, a lot of industry segments are now beginning to kick in some investment plans. So at that point of time, uh, some, uh, some dampening of the confidence uh, could happen if there is an interest rate hike. Mm -hmm. But we really have to balance these issues now. Mm -hmm. I don't think uh, here is the time to say that we cannot ever have an interest rate hike simply because the liquidity compulsions are just too much. That, that's... Uh, inflation compulsions, liquidity compulsions are too much. That, that's precisely the point I'm coming to, uh, Mr. Seshasai. One is already seeing the first rumblings of possibly, you know, a huge hike in INO prices, uh, which will be followed up by the steelmakers. Are you sensing that inflation is going to be a slightly bigger problem than uh, is being giving, given credit for? Yes, I think uh, inflation is going to be a bigger problem, uh, as I said, uh, because I see the... Uh, the last few months uh, demand uh, taking away the slack we had in capacity and uh, therefore there is some opportunistic pricing as well because of uh, shortage of commodities, shortage of manufactured products. We are beginning to see that in the automotive industry and so there is bound to be inflation on manufactured products as well. Uh, let me also say that there is, a, uh, there is an asset bubble, uh, the, at least the beginnings of this uh, are detectable in the commodity prices, industrial products uh, all across the world, which will give another uh, push to the increase in uh, manufactured products in India as well. Oh. Chetan, how are you looking at growth numbers? You know, at your brokerage, uh, uh, your uh, uh, peers will also be looking at uh, the various sales numbers thrown up uh, in the uh, third quarter. There seems to be a growth in sales uh, in several uh, sectors. Are you confident that this uh, growth is self-sustaining? Yeah, absolutely, Lata. I think we have now enough evidence. Now, unfortunate thing from RBI, from RBI's perspective is the duration for which the growth has been strong mm. has only been last six months. But the fact is that it's, the level of growth is very, very strong. So if you just look at the IP data, I think that's the most important one for corporate revenue growth as well. Mm. We've seen a sequential rise of about 10% since May as denominator. Uh, so there's been a massive uh, rise in the absolute numerator in the last uh, uh, five, six months. And we have to be conscious of that, that that will really result into a, a capacity utilization which is closer to full. And uh, the RBI will have to consider that as well as the fact that the input prices are also rising not only locally but globally. So combined effect of increasing capacity utilization and higher input prices, uh, which is what no non-food WPI would represent, mm. uh, the RBI will have to move uh, in on January 29th with a 25 bips reverse repo hike minimum. Are you so confident of the global growth impulse? I mean, including Mr. Sasha Sai's industry, that is the automobile industry in general, and our auto ancillaries in particular, there has been a lot of benefit uh, to sales that has come from positive export growth, which is because of schemes like the cash for clunker scheme uh, abroad. Likewise, uh, even internally, there has been some depreciation benefit for uh, automobiles, especially CVs. There have been excise, uh, uh, you know, forbearance. 
if these are withdrawn and uh, the uh, globally the cash for clunker scheme is already ended uh, do you think uh, there can be a return of uh, some kind of plateauing and slowdown of growth but well, i think we got to break it up in two uh, situations here how is what is the strength of domestic demand irrespective of what happens in the world so i think that has been extremely strong exports have just moved into positive territory territory but before that we had seen ip growth already at a very very high level mm. so i think that domestic demand is definitely strong uh so that's the first point second point is on the global aspect uh yes we are less dependent on exports but we are somehow influenced by the world by uh, in, even the financial market linkages so mm. if there is risk aversion in the world and double dip in the us it will affect rbi and rbi should be mindful of that there is no doubt uh well our house view is that we will not see a double dip in the us we will see some moderation on a q on q basis in the fourth quarter we are expecting four and a half percent gdp growth in the us on a q on q which is very strong Uh, and there will be moderation from that rate but we are still looking at a full year average of 2.8% in the US so which means that we are not really calling for a big double dip there and in that environment uh, i think we will have to basically start at least moving somewhat uh, in india and uh, just like rba did and i think the domestic demand strength itself justifies mm-hmm. some lifting of policy rate at the first stage and then you re- reevaluate the whole situation after 4 or 5 months and on as to how the world is evolving Well uh, uh Mr Malia what is your take uh, Mr Sesar Shahi believes that uh, he is seeing uh, you know uh, demand uh, pick up very nicely as well uh, a sense of opportunistic pricing is what he called it uh, in terms of uh, people trying to push up uh, prices of uh, some of their uh, some commodities do you think the stage is therefore set for a rise in interest rates and not just a CRR hike from the reserve bank Uh, see my sense at this point in time is that uh, uh, we have seen the credit pick up in the last 15 20 days and therefore going forward the credit pick up could be substantially better uh, maybe uh, we should be somewhere near the 18% growth as per the current fiscal is concerned but then going by the pipeline sanctions that all of us have given uh, i think uh, the next year 10 11 should see a substantially better credit pick up now in the context of this perhaps at the moment even though the liquidity overhang still continues in the system maybe a lot of it could get consumed once the credit pick up comes maybe rbi would uh, have to uh, uh, take a call on that as to whether uh, there is a need to uh, change the policy rates or whether there could be a small increase in the crr my sense is that perhaps a little bit of a liquidity suck, uh, sucking up could be there Uh, by uh, uh, increasing the crr say by about 25 basis points but then that would not necessarily uh, uh, induce any uh, increase as per the interest rates are concerned therefore for the time being my sense is that the interest rates would continue stable maybe as we move forward towards the end of the current fiscal uh, depending on the macroeconomic conditions prevailing perhaps a call needs to be taken regarding the interest rates maybe it may slightly inch up uh, thereafter did i get